Hello, and welcome to Going for Gold with Ryu. I uh, had somebody with a constructive comment on one of my videos say that they were looking forward to the Ryu match, and I figured, why not? Uh, I am about four placement matches in, and it looks possible that I will just get gold from my placement matches, so I figured I'd start the video up now. I can, I can feel my ability to call myself a new player slowly slipping away, because every time I get a new character to gold, I get to keep all the things I learned with me onto my next characters, and because of that, I wanted to try to do Ryu a little bit earlier so that I have got the least amount of what I would call good player bias where I've just gotten to a point where I can do things that other players struggle with so easily that I don't consider them to be something that I would even think about. So, in honor of that, let's get going a little bit. Uh, obviously, the basic game plan is pretty simple. Chuck Plasma until the opponent gets tired of it and jumps and then uppercut them. And after the uppercut, uh, get in and uh, start your pressure up. So I'm going to do something that I learned with Dalsum in most of my matches. I'm going to walk backwards at round start, or, you know, block low if they happen to have a fast slide or something, and see if I can learn something about my opponent. If they're crazy and they do the 99 second jump in, maybe on reaction I just get a DP. And if I see that they're pretty passive and they don't really want to do anything, then maybe I just start throwing that plasma, trying to get in that way or beating them in a fireball war by throwing out uh, the EX. At the point in time where I get an EX like that, you see I'm 66 frames plus there, or I get a dragon punch to connect, we're kind of in, right? You can see there, I'm exactly zero. I dashed in three times, so yeah, frightening, right? You can definitely get... There we go, plus seven after dashing in three times. I was a little bit faster on it, so now that suddenly you've got pressure. Or maybe they rolled backwards and gave you up even more space, and that's fine too. Uh, if they are jumping at you, you've got one of two real options, I think, at this level. The first is to drive rush in, or just dash in, but drive rush will help to catch roll back. You do have to be careful, though, uh, to time it, because you can do it too early. So it's not guaranteed to be meaty, you do have to time that. The other is to just throw a fireball afterwards, so if you catch an opponent that's jumping in, you can throw a fireball. Um, you'll have to throw the ones that are... This is a little spacing dependent as well, but you will have to throw the ones that are manual inputs, but as you can see here... If I basically try to do my input right as my opponent like, I hear the sound from them hitting the ground. If I do my input immediately then, it pretty much always comes out, which is pretty nice, easy audio timing. And even if they recover backwards here, I can do the same thing with medium fireball. And you'll see that it catches him before he can jump. So light or medium fireballs, depending upon whether your opponent is rolling backwards or staying right next to you, will give you a easy, meaty on wake-up that they have to respect. And again, if they don't or they try to jump out of it, then you've got these plus frames and you can start trying to take up space and just make their lives miserable. So before we get into how to do that, what happens if your opponent has made your life miserable? Well, Ryu actually has some good options. He's got a jab that connects three times. It goes into his EXDP. It even go, or sorry, his heavy DP. You can see here that does pretty darn good damage off of a jab, especially for the fact that we're using easy inputs. And we have gained a pretty substantial amount of space. He's not even rolling backwards to stay away from the inevitable pressure that we get after this if he doesn't. Plus 11 in his face, in throw range. He's about to get thrown in the corner if he doesn't roll backwards. So chances are he gives up even more space than that. So that's really good. The next thing is uh, he's got a lot of invincible moves. Obviously the classic Shoryuken, EX Shoryuken, or OD Shoryuken in this game is invincible. And all three of Ryu's supers have invincibility on startup, although the level 1 super will lose to projectiles. Then, for jumping out of the corner, you even have a little tiny trick here where you can try to helicopter out of the corner with Tatsumaki, changing your jump arc a little bit and making it harder for your opponent to anti-air you, which, at this level, they're not going to do because you're trying to get to gold. But, you know, still, it's there. You've got some cool options. Next, let's talk about that offense. So, uh, let's talk about the auto combos. I think that for punishing unsafe stuff, the light auto combo is fine. 
but I would not use it on wake ups or anything else because it is weak to drive impact and when you're trying to get to gold you're going to see wake up drive impact a lot. So instead I would say the crouching jabs, basically it autos for you if you just mash down and uh, light. So, well, you hold down and mash light, I should say. It goes into your Shoryuken, it goes into your Tatsumaki. It's really good. You should use it. And then, of course, we're going to throw our opponent sometimes as the strike throw mix up. And uh, in honor of the frame data uh, video that I just made, let's talk a little bit about uh, setting up better pressure here. So, I'm going to do a frame kill off of both of these setups to make a better uh, wake-up situation for myself. So, I'm going to do Tatsumaki off of my lights, and then dash forward, and you see if I do it correctly, I'll be plus four here. And you can kind of just mash this most of the time, to be honest, as you saw I did there. Plus four, that puts him exactly in the spot where he'll wake up, right into my throw, or right into my light, both of which have five frames of startup. Similarly, if we throw, you see that we are plus 17, and we have a 13 frame jab. You can do that exact same thing. And be plus four in their face here. Same mix up, throw or uh, crouching light immediately afterwards, and you will frame trap your opponent trying to do anything. Uh, better than that, at plus four, you will also frame trap with your auto medium, which is quite good. If you've got two meters, two super meters, uh, this is a great way to uh, confirm whether or not your opponent is getting hit or not, because the EX Hashogeki is plus three on hit, but it is also plus three on block. So it's a great way to spend some meter if you've got overdrive gauge, if you catch an opponent that's trying to jump out after this plus four setup, or you catch an opponent that's trying to mash, you will get a very easy confirm into a very damaging 33% uh, medium combo, which is great. I think that's a great way to do it, and both of these plus four setups will frame trap anything your opponent tries to do, you know, that isn't invincible, of course. Uh, then next, we've got uh, the heavy combo. I think this heavy combo is actually quite good compared to many other heavy combos. Similarly to the Hashogeki, you'll see that on block, this is plus one, and because it has two hits, it gives you a lot of time in real life to react. You might only have 40 frames in the game, but because the hit hits twice, you get even more frames while the uh, game is paused to show you those hits. So you get about an entire second worth of time to react to whether or not this hit, which is pretty cool. If it does, then you can just go into the you can just go into the heavy combo. It's pretty good uh, for a variety of reasons. First of all, because the second hit is crouching medium, so if you don't want to spend meter, you don't have to. You can do this instead. Oh hey look, we're plus four back into the combo, back into that vortex again. So you can do that if you don't want to spend meter, or if you do, of course, it goes into level three, which does good damage. I think that Ryu has one of the easiest uh, heavy into supers though. If you're looking for a really good punish, heavy into level three, since you don't have to do anything, it's literally neutral into double quarter circle forward. I think it's one of the easiest uh, buffers to do in the game if you have a really easy punish, so it's definitely worth learning, but if you just mash heavy auto combo, that's going to get you through gold, no problem. Then, finally, with a plus, or with a 20 frame startup move with this standing heavy, off of throw we can also get this. So if your opponent tries to push a button afterwards, let's see if I can get the timing correct, you'll see that this... Oh, I did a little too early here. There we go, this works. Even with his uh, three frame jab or four frame startup jab, it doesn't work. He doesn't uh, have enough time to push that button there, so you can do this button off of your throw every single time that's also just plus on block, which gives you great setups. On top of that, if your opponent sees you throwing out this elephant of a move on their wake up a few too many times, you know what they're gonna think, right? I can drive impact that. Well, because I just said that, you know what's about to happen. They can't. They're taking that level 3 anyway. So, that's also really powerful. You can definitely bait an opponent into using a drive impact. Now, as a special shout out to the uh, commenter who wanted to the viewer who wanted to uh, see Ryu. I have one extra thing 
that I wanted to show, which is a cool Drive Rush combo and a setup for it. So the Drive Rush combo is very simple. It's heavy, Drive Rush, medium, heavy, uppercut. So it looks like this. You can see that, uh, let's turn that off. You can see that it does about a quarter of their life. Uh, the medium into the second heavy is a link, but it's not very difficult to do. And here's a little setup for it. It's basically a drive impact, and I think that uh, if you get a punish counter drive impact on your opponent, like you see that they're doing a lot of preemptive drive impacts and you get this on them, you can do something cool. I like to do heavy into Tatsu here, let them drop a little bit, and then dash forward. And you'll see we're plus nine. And what that means is that I can use this heavy punch. It will catch my opponent immediately on their wake up because it is a 9-framer, and this works even if your opponent tries to roll backwards. That's why I like it so much. You see that even on the roll backwards there, I was a little slow on my dash, unfortunately, but even on the roll backwards there, you're right in their face. There's nothing they can do. So, what happens when you get there? Well, you can do that cool combo. It's got some plus frames in case they block it, so if they just block this, then you'll see that you're plus three here, so you're actually pretty safe to just continue pressure afterwards. If they get hit, you get 25%, and if they are truly crazy drive impact uh, players, then you've actually got a pretty good answer here. So you'll see that uh, I've got two recordings. One is jump nothing, one is jump drive impact. Let's see how it goes. So he doesn't do it, I get my 25%. Okay, nothing there. Uh-huh, anytime. Whenever you want to. So easy to react to. Incredibly easy to react to. And because standing medium is cancelable, you have a lot of options. You can go into any of your supers. All your supers will hit here. And on top of that, if I turn off this one, you can even finish the combo out. So obviously you can do something like, oh, well that too, but you can do something like this, but if you just do an early uh, DP, that can also work. As long as you've done it early enough, you will not trade here, and you can just get a DP to break it without even having to spend any of your meters. So you can get lots and lots of easy uh, setups off of that. I don't know that I'll be using it at all, but I thought it was pretty cool for the person who was interested in Ryu. So I hope that that helps, and let's get into it. All right. Here, comes a new Here we are. All right, Manon. So I'm going to back up at the beginning. She's got an overhead and a low that hits pretty early in the round. And I am going to basically back up for a couple of frames and then block low and see what happens. Okay, pretty patient to be honest. Okay, looking for anti-airs. Oh, she got me. Oh, we're playing a fucking platinum player. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, she didn't hit me. We'll take it. Nice. Okay, I figured she would wait. She waited again. Wow, there's a lot of waiting going on here. I think we can take advantage of that, can't we? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, she jabbed. Right in the right amount of time. Yeah, platinum player. Fair enough. Fair enough. Round two. I'll throw a fireball. That does not work quite as well as... Okay, we're just gonna jump. And then roll. And then try to do this. Hold on. We'll wait. 
Yeah, there we go, see? I was able to get out of the corner, even though I'm playing against a character who's obviously going to beat me. You can see that even against the Platinum player, I was able to uh, catch that. Okay, and they are now catching me with this attack. Uh, we'll play him again, of course. And so I'm just kind of learning what they want to do here. They figured out that I'm throwing fireballs, so they are... Oh, that wasn't close enough? I'm so sad. Okay, we'll roll backwards here. No, that's not a thing you can do, I'm afraid. Woo! Oh, I figured she would do something there, but I just died of that, yeah. Obviously, we're not at platinum level, but that's where the game has decided to put us. It just skipped gold, by the way. I never even got to play a match in gold. Oh, I tried. Okay, and then we're just going to do this move. Okay, you know what? We got a round off of them. That's pretty good. It's hard for me to talk when I'm playing somebody who's so much better than me, but it's pretty fun, right? Just gonna walk backwards and see what they want to do. Oh, I didn't quite get the D or the uh, yeah the DP, unfortunately. I was looking for that move. Okay, they're going crazy. We just DP, right? Oh. Ah! Okay, we got we got owned. Fair enough. They decided to go ham because it's gonna be tough for us to beat that, obviously. Which is perfectly fine. We got we got a round off of them though. It was a pretty convincing round too, so I think that that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, they didn't even have to use level three or anything, and they are better than me. And you can see that like against a higher level player who knows that this is minus even on hit. You can see that they are abusing that. I'm not going to try to iterate that yet because I don't think I need to to get to gold. But uh, that is definitely something to think about. Like, the fact that that is not plus on uh, hit is definitely an issue. So let's walk backwards, see what they want to do. Okay, EX. We're okay with that. Okay, uh-huh. Oh, we're just trolling around at this point in time. Huh. Alright, there we go. No. They're burnt out, so this is really a problem for them. They can't take this chip. And there's the jump. All right, cool. I'm going to wait. I think she's going to jump. Okay, we'll take that. There's the jump. Oh, that doesn't quite beat it in time. Okay, I thought I would beat it in time. That's my bad. See there. <laughs> oh, she was able to do that in time. I didn't know. That's on me. I'm okay with that. I wanted to talk to there. That's my bad. Oh, I tried to do the the frame trap, but it didn't work. We'll just DP. You can see we sort of were able to catch some uh, some impatience there from our opponent. 
so that was good. Still at a level of play that's pretty tough for me to play, but it's fun. Could try parrying that, huh? A jump? Is she looking for it? Nope. 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 Okay, she's burnt out. I'm bad at getting this stuff off after that. Catch her there. Cool. Let me try to do that heavy ru drive rush combo at some point in time. I think that'll be fun. Okay. Oh, that was not what I wanted at all. To be fair, I would have still lost, but not what we wanted. Oh, that lost? Very surprising. Gonna throw. Nope. I think I get level 3 here. I'm just gonna do the motion. Burn her out. Do a ton of damage. I think heavy fireball is correct. Ah, she can beat it. We can just do it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, here's a do here's a Hadoken. That's about right, to be honest. Okay. I don't know where this is gonna put me, but I feel like gold may not be the answer. <laughs> All right. Wasn't able to really ever put her in the corner as much as I would like to, but um, I definitely was able to kind of catch a lot of the stuff that she wanted to do, and you know, throw those fireballs, get those jumps, and then get pressure afterwards, and that was enough was able to get the level 2, was able to get my own, uh, that, that ate my inputs, get my own heavy into full damage, uh, level 3, which felt very nice. Didn't get the heavy into the drive rush combo, sadly, but the heavy into level 3 is pretty good. Oh, alright, well we've got a tough, tough customer at the end. He's probably like platinum or some crazy thing, right? Yeah, of course. Alright. Well, we may be really just high gold at the end of this. I don't know how I beat a guy. <laughs> All right, let's wait and see what he does, even though I think that's a mistake. Okay, you know what? We just we just took some overdrive meter from him. Okay, fair enough. That's a lot of overdrive meter. I don't think that he... Oh, he does quite... He didn't get the flash kick? Very surprising. There we go. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, that punishes, that's unfortunate. Things that he knows that I don't. Oh, that actually probably would have caught him at the end of there, but maybe not quite. But he got the jump in a couple of times. I mean, if I beat this guy, it will be a miracle, but, you know, we'll take it. I was going to jump. I had considered jumping, but I decided not to. Fair enough. We'll jump. Oh, I tried to tech, but I was a little slow, I guess. Oh, 
And now I'm happy to play this fireball game because we're pretty close on life, and he's also burnt out like me. I don't know how to beat that, unfortunately. Ooh, he got me. Okay, that goes a little farther than I expected. That was good. I definitely also expected the fireball to beat a level 1 there, so that's on me. We'll play him one more time. We'll see what we get. We'll probably get, like, high gold if we lose to him twice. I'm not sure, though. The game's kind of weird. Uh, I'm not getting my, my Tatsu combo very much. Uh, I was a little early. It's on me. Okay, we got a round off of him from it though. Need to do my uh, my frame traps the right way, but I'll just get fireball to start. Screw it. <laughs> he thought the same thing as me. Love it. No. Okay, he is not... Oh, how did I not block that? Oh, I don't want to do that, I just want to parry it. Okay, he got me there, fair enough. Oh, I tried to jump, but I was slow. Oh, two hits. I tried to uh, uppercut the first time and it didn't work, but this time it works. Does that work? Oh my god, it works from there. I didn't even realize. Alright, well we learned some things. I thought that was just a free, uh, a free fireball from there, but he got me, he got me, fair enough. Alright. We're making life hard on this guy, though, aren't we? Okay, last round. Haven't gotten that drive rush combo, but to be fair, I am fighting people so, so much higher level than I thought I would be. Why is he not flash kicking me there? I don't understand. Okay, flash kick, fair enough. Does he... Okay, he does. Alright, fair enough. Huh? And he got me. Alright, good, good. So that was a fun game, though. Got to play some stuff and learn some things about Guile. Did, in fact, stay in gold. Probably like four or five. Five. Alright, there we are. <laughs> Technically... Still the road to gold. We got what we asked for. We got gold. All right. Well, this was fun. I'm afraid uh, that goes well beyond being able to play Ryu anytime soon. But I hope that you got to see some stuff. Unfortunately, again, I was I was playing people that were so much better than me that it was really hard <laughs> to like talk at the same time because I'm just trying to focus. But you can see the idea there of throwing fireballs. Even the Guile was getting impatient sometimes. I got a round off of him because he just jumped at me too many times. Uh, I had so many other things I was thinking about that it was tough for me to get my own setups that I was talking about sometimes. But uh, I tried for it, and if I actually had all the setups that I was talking about simply for going for gold, I probably would have been able to get platinum. So, pretty cool. Uh, I'll be continuing on. Uh, it turns out Guile is actually the next character that I will be going for gold with. So I hope to see you there. <laughs>